Greetings everyone and welcome to the town of Karma in Rimworld where we have many things that we need to sort out However, the first one is that we've got a combat trader You know what, let's go through the auto sell menu and just set up some more things Any tribal wear is automatically sold Any apparel made from multiple possible materials with health below 50% Any headgear made from multiple possible uh, materials with health below 50% I'm going to create a new rule and I want this to be, let's uh, shrink all of this down, uh, all items, there we are. Any apparel made from any material with quality below good, I guess. Yeah, that can, that can go. We'll confirm that, except there's a few things that I don't want to allow. Um... Oh, I guess I have to have it as B as any apparel. That's a shame, because I would like to disallow getting rid of um, helmets and that sort of thing, and also personal shields, power armor, that sort of thing. But I guess if it's if it's awful, let's say awful to poor, then get rid of it. Um, and then we want to create a new rule. Once again, I want to get rid of any headgear made from any material whose quality is awful to poor. Um, there we go, let's see these, that's fine, let's see this one, that's fine. Let's check on advanced. Um, oh, exclude armored vest, there we go, that's what we wanted to see. I don't want to sell any, well, actually, military fatigue, no, we've got enough of those, I think. Power armor, personal shield, I don't want to sell those, because they're hard enough to get, as is. Um, in here, I don't want to sell any power armor helmets, military helmets, or Kevlar helmets, but everything else, well, hmm, actually no, I'm going to allow those, we'll confirm that, what am I making here, what's the bill for, I make Kevlar helmets, okay, so let's make sure that we get rid of everything but Kevlar helmets, I will keep military helmets because I don't manufacture them, even though Kevlar is uh, a better one there. Is there anything else? Do I want to sell any particular weapons? Perhaps. Create a rule. Let's go through here and get rid of certain weapons as well. Pretty much all melee weapons can be sold. I don't need any of them. Just go ahead. Let them go. Um, unless they're like crazy amazing. So awful to excellent. There we go. And then for ranged weapons as well. We will have... Um, Hmm. If its quality is below poor, get rid of it. And finally, uh, grenades. No, I don't. I really don't ever want to get rid of grenades. So that's good enough for me. Right, we want NASA to take care of this one for us, but I want her to take off her gas mask first. Uh, gas mask. Gas mask first. And then head on over to speak through the comms. Now, by removing the gas mask, it just uh, gas mask. It makes things just a, a wee bit easier for us. A simple spine. Oh, okay. I'm going to take all of your medicine. I'm going to take all of your components. That is a, a given. Are we selling pretty much everything else? The triple rocket launcher. We are selling. Good. I'm glad for that to be gone. Well, actually, no. I'm going to keep the triple rocket launcher. It will come in handy, even though it is poor. The minigun is... can be just gone. That's fine. Um, I think we can sell one of the mol... Well, you know what? No, let's not sell all the Molotov cocktails, shall we? Let's keep hold of those. Uh, we're getting rid of a load of stuff that's just... It, it's no good. We, we can make better, and we will make better in time. We're going to make 332. Not too bad. Now... Very sad news. Unfortunately, after enough time that I was getting a little bit frustrated with the fact that this just wasn't working out, I checked on it. Turns out, yeah, yeah, there's no point in us having any of these beds. And the reason why is because rather sensibly, honestly, when you think about it, visitors will not visit your colony if the colony is either being raided currently or... If the colony has toxic fallout. Yes. Ah, uh, if only I had known. Alas, I did not know, so we've spent all this time making this room, trying to get people to move in for naught. 
Oh, well. That is a superior item, though. I'm going to set this room up as a bedroom. Um, one lucky colonist is going to get it. I don't know who yet, but we'll see. Now, this room is all but ready for us. So, how about we go ahead and set things up? I'm going to copy these settings. I am then going to go to zones, and then I'm going to draw a stockpile zone. The next thing I'm going to do is disallow these corners, because I don't like things being dropped on the lights. In fact, I would really super duper 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 like it if you would stop storing things on my animal beds. You scoundrels. Well, there we go. That's all done. Now, if I go in there and paste the items, that's emergency storage. Um, let's call this, uh, to be honest, become main storage, really. It's not emergency storage. Let's just change, just do storage. Uh, central. I think it's spent with an A. Um, I can't tell if it's centrally or central. I, dyslexia is really, really shockingly embarrassing sometimes. Uh, right, let's go for... There we go. Oh, no, capital V. There we go. All right, then. With all that done, we're going to need a couple of things. We definitely need more of you, don't we? Yep, yep, we do. Let's get all of that. Get it all in. Now, at this point, I really do feel that we need to get this sorted rather quickly. So how about I set that up, eh? Let's get that, that, um, that's the actual geotherm itself, I think, six by six, yeah, okay, so we just need to set this up like so, then use paved tiles around the edges, and this also gives us the dimensions of the room, and then I'm going to just have this be set up, because we, we are starting to run into pretty nasty power issues right now, as it happens, and I don't want those to continue. So let's set that up, and we'll build that as soon as we can. Right, as for everything else, well, you know what? We can speed up time a wee bit and just see what we can do. Minor break risk, a Bruno. And on that note, right, Sparkles, you've had a word with me, and your secret name is in fact Dewdrop. Welcome to the colony, Dewdrop. And a Bruno, your secret name, is Laird. There we go. Fantastic. Welcome to the colony, both of you. Let me make sure that you are actually set up correctly. Yes, you are. Fantastic. Um, what is Dewdrop up to at the moment? You drop seems to just be rushing around doing things. Fair enough. We've already got things being stored in there, which is great to see. Now, what are these tiles? I believe these are slate. So, in fact, let me just turn off zones. Yeah, slate. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make this room look the same. So, slate all around the edges, like so. Then we will have... Slate on the very edges there and then there. Put down a slate slab there. And, um... You know, we'll just... Given that this room is so much smaller, we'll just go for slate tiles here. Just across everything in there. That's going to cut down on the amount of uh, cooking that we need to do. Now, it was uh, suggested that I actually build a steel butcher's table in here. Just because of the amount of of uh, just foulness and that does actually make a lot of sense when you think about it so um i'm gonna change this i'm gonna allow it to store human meat human meat's good it's human meat is stored in there there shouldn't be human meat stored in here good 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 very well i'm taking off this butcher creature command, and I am instead going to build a new butchering table. This butcher table shall not be made of wood. It shall, in fact, be made of steel, I guess. We have no other option. I do, in fact, pity the person who has to work in here. Um, as a result, I'm going to try and give you the, a, a nice chair, at the very least. 
Uh, let's see, what kind of cloth have we got? We've got a decent amount of cloth, so you're going to get a cushioned chair. There you go. Damn it. You're going to have a nice chair. we got a new recruit. Really? NASA successfully recruited white. 3.4% chance. Wow, okay. Let's have a look at white then. White is a loner. Let's have a look at you. Abandoned child. White was born sickly, thinking that she would only burden the tribe. Her parents left her out in the elements. Somehow, she survived. Melee plus three, crafting plus three, but social minus two. Didn't get too much chance to talk with people. And then she became a loner, so that's going to make it even worse. Loners never much liked the tribal council or the yearly festivals. She preferred the open plain and the lonely whistle of the wind through her locks. Or through the rocks. Maybe through her locks as well. She visits her tribe from time to time, but for the most part she takes care of herself using her own survival skills. Shooting plus three, melee plus two, construction plus one, growing plus five, negotiating disabled. Very well. I am completely okay with this. White has had a whisper. And she is, in fact, Outstar Walker. There we go, Outstar. White Outstar Walker Olga. Very good at shooting. Very, very good at shooting. Actually, she really, really enjoys it. All right, let's set you up. We will have a one there, a two there. Um, No, I'm not going to have you doing any doctoring, I'm afraid. However, look at her skills. My goodness, that's good. All right, well, uh, yeah. yeah, I'll leave those at three. I will, however, set that one to two since you're going to get very good at it very quickly. Wow, White really is a good character. Right, restrictions. Uh, you were recruited by NASA. So, there you go. You are now going to be on the same uh, schedule as NASA. Though, that being said... Uh, actually, no. No. As much as I would like you to be on the same schedule as NASA... Outstar, you're going to be on the same schedule as Dewdrop, because that way I've got five colonists who will be up at night, which is going to be really quite useful for us. Right, I want you set up for labour for now, though. There we go. And destroy Outstar's first task of the day, straight to the smoke leaf. Very well. Right, let's get all of this set up, please. Now, what was that chair? It's a good cushion chair. Fantastic. I approve. I would really like that to be made quickly, though. Have we got enough wood? We do not have enough wood. Do we have any tree even remotely close? 62% grown. Ah, uh, no, we're going to be waiting for a while then. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. How are things down here? Oh, they're going okay, except for that. Let's deconstruct that wall. Damn it. And then build this wall out, I guess. Um, sure, yes. And build that wall out, that wall out, that wall out. We are also going to cut away this wall. Now, as for the entry exit, I'm going to place it... Hmm, I'm going to place it about here on this one. Break that down. I want it to come out by two, out by two. We'll have a, a limestone block door and then a steel door inside and what do we have there it's just um, paved floors all right sorted now thing is in this zone we do not want a roof over this area that should be kept unroofed so that it doesn't blow up eventually I'm not a big fan of my geotherms blowing up you see uh, we will have a... Let's go for a limestone block door there. And uh, we could just have uh, another steel door in here, honestly. Just about there. Um, yeah, I don't see any particular reason not to. We'll get that set up. And in fact, we will then have a standing lamp right there. It'll look fine. Additionally, since this is all rock, I'm just going to smooth it. Go ahead and smooth this out. Break down small cooler. That's a shame, but uh, it will happen from time to time. There we go. That should all be fine. And then we'll just get this wall built in there as well. Okay. 
Uh, we'll get these brought back. And then... Build all of those out. Uh, ooh, wait, is that right? Yes, that is correct. Once all of this is done... Fantastic. Let's get everything out of the way if we can. Yeah, smoothing the floors. Great work. Uh, right, we've got Talon Laid. Laid, sorry. Uh, let's see. Okay, disturbed sleep, rebuffed by Buttercup, shared a bedroom, feeling bad, slept on the ground, ate without a table, wearing one out of apparel, and want to sleep with Dewdrop. Ooh, uh, uh, where is Dewdrop? Doesn't Dewdrop sleep? Oh. So, where is Dewdrop right now? Let me have the, let, have a look at this. Dewdrop, you're on different schedules, so... Let's get you all on the same schedule there. There you go. Let's actually have a look at Dewdrop. Oh, wait, no, I've made Laird on the same one. Oops, wrong one. Laird. You can have Colas or Tell. No, you're, all, you're already on the same one. Where does Tell sleep? Tell, do you sleep out here? You might do, actually. That is unfortunate. Uh, well, Outstar Walker, I'm afraid, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But this is going to be for Tell and Dewdrop. I'm sure you understand. Where is Dewdrop? Uh, I see her name not. Ah, there we are. Bonk. Sorted. Beavers! Now, they're going to spread out very quickly because there's just no um, nothing here for them to eat, which is not particularly good. Gun, the nickel, um, NASA, and Lisa. You're all drafted. Let's get out there. Oh, damn it. Lisa, NASA, draft. Let's go. Quickly. want to take them out as fast as we can. Now, they're going to spread out very quickly. Right. Please kill this one. You really suck. Over there, please. There we go. Please don't shoot the others. That would be really bad. Wow, I thought that was going to be fast. I was wrong. I'll do. Go for it. Excellent work. Have we missed one? Oh, they're, they're moving on pretty quickly. Let's get over there then. Oh, they're already gone. Damn it. And take this one out if you can. Excellent work. Right. You're all good. Right. Get back indoors. Grab any beavers that you can on the way. And we'll get a little bit of extra meat for some fine meals. It'll be glorious. Right. We've got at least this little area done now. Um, orbital trade breaking is broken down. That's a bit of a shame. Still don't have this set up because we don't have the wood yet. It's going to take us a little while, unfortunately. Uh, I will delete these areas. Oh, that's already deleted. That's fine. Also, I'll delete that bit because we don't want anything on top of that light. Okay. Well, with that all said and done, we've got a pretty good bed. Normal. Good. There we go. Let's install this bed. I mean, I would like to put a double bed in there, but... Well, it is what it is. We will build a furniture. Well, it's going to have to be a limestone block end table there, unfortunately. Uh, we'll also have a limestone block dresser, I think. Just about there. Along with a small table that will be... Uh, just for a little bit of a change, we'll have sandstone. Right there. And then a square di dining table right there as well. Then we can add some plant bots and stuff like that in there. Uh, sure, actually, let's let's make one right now. In fact, could you make me an ornate square plant pot, please? We also want that wall to be done too. So let's build that. Ooh. Finished Research Circuit Breakers allows building circuit breakers can be placed anywhere on a power network with batteries. Each one is enough to safely dissipate up to 3,000. Three standard batteries discharge and will need to be manually reset if tripped. Fantastic. I will get that done in just a moment. 
There we are. Outstar's got their new bedroom. Right, in terms of research, what do we want next? Uh, we could go for simple prosthetics, fire foam, tube television, uh, components assembly. There we are. Let's get that so that we don't ever run out of components ever, ever again. I think that would be grand. I'm going to turn back on the, the highlights so I can see what I've set up and what I haven't set up. We just need more and more of this. Always more and more of this. Uh, the corner's doing okay. Um, which one, what one is this? This is potato. I'm going to set this to not allow sewing. What's, ooh, major break risk. What's wrong, lid? Let's have a look at you. My friend Dolphin died. Well, yeah. Eight without table. Slapped on the ground. Rebuffed by white. Disturbed sleep. Uh, it does suck. I know. I know. We'll get there, though. Don't you worry. Have we made that? No, not yet. Oh, I think someone is working on it, though. Oh, wonderful. Uh, marble. Okay, that's going to be a very nice one. Right, what we need down here is a geotherm. And we can afford to make it, so, yeah. Get that built, please. Like, right now. Uh, are they allowed outside? Yeah, they're allowed outside. Let me have a quick look, though, because we've got a couple of people who are... Minor toxic buildup, really? Mm, initial... It's been a long time since we had to worry about that. Anyone else with toxic buildup? Anyone else? Dewdrop has got smoke leaf dependence. It's a shame. Uh, Lid has got asthma. You've also got smoke leaf dependence. Well, actually, Gun, you're going to be restricted to indoors for a while. This has been a long time since I've needed to do this, but uh, yeah, you're not going out. However, I do need to double check that I've got everything set up for that. So indoors will also be down here. And this is going to be a fairly large room, I would say. Fairly large, about there. Going out and there as well. So they can actually get out of the room if they need to. Uh, but other than that, I think everything... Oh, there we go. We need you to be able to go in there. Um, you can get out there, so that's the main thing. Yep, that all looks good. Crack on. Though I am going to need to adjust the home zone as well to include all of this. It will eventually be this large, so I need to set it all up so that they will actually fight fires and the likes. There we are. Perfect. Anything else needed? Oh, yes, of course. Same thing. There we go. Uh, once we've actually got that set up, it's going to be so much better once we start bringing in more power again. I'm going to have a look at setting up a battery reserve that I will control with the daylights, uh, day-night switches so that I'll have a reserve that will isolate itself at night and one that will isolate itself in the day but otherwise will charge up because... Oh, break up! Tal and Dewdrop are no longer in a relationship. <gasps> I've not seen that before. What happened? X level minus 58. Oh. I feel sad. I feel sad. Minus 58. Oh. I only just put you in this big old grand door bedroom. Oh, it looks like, looks like Tal won the toss. I'm not going to interfere with that. Well, Dewdrop, you're going to be sleeping in the, uh, yeah, you're going to be sleeping in there for a little while. Sorry. Um, how's everything going? One colonist idle. We need some more clothing, clearly. Thankfully, we are making a lot, but there's so much clothing that just isn't ready yet, which is kind of annoying me. Poison ship, what? Well, how despicable. Okay. Well... Who has the sniper weapon, I wonder? Let's actually see. Who has the sniper weapon? It's not you. It... Oh, you. Ultrawatt has no weapon. Dewdrop only has a club. Yeah, Dewdrop, how about I get you equipped before we do anything else? We have no sw sniper weapon. That distresses me. It distresses me. Do drop, go and equip that. Lead, uh, I, I guess, equip the shotgun and outstar walker. I, I, I probably got rid of the uh, the gun when 
the last ship was was dealt with because I just didn't think to to restrict that one. I should have restricted that one specifically. But okay. Uh, medium heater, that's fine. We can make a sniper weapon, I believe. Sniper rifle, yes. I would like two of three of these, in fact. Requires 100 steel, six components. Uh, component, raw resource, steel, weapons. Yep, okay, well, let's get these, please. It's going to take a lot of materials to make it, but we need it. We've got enough steel, just. In terms of components, though, I'm not sure that we do. Where can I see components? Hmm. I do not see them yet. Components, components, components. Where are you, components? Don't tell me I've used them all up. That can't be right. At any rate, let's uh, deconstruct this. And we're going to build a better one. Please don't tell me I sold all my components. Oh, I might have. What an epic derp. At any rate, let's uh, install this lovely plant pot in there. Uh, we will have some places where I can get some components. I'm sure of it. For all this gold. That really needs to be brought in, by the way. Let's get down there get some more components. And there's loads of components there as well. So it's fine. It's fine. We've we got a lot. Um, the nickel, would you mind coming out and grabbing the gold for me? Uh, buttercup as well, please. Uh, there we go. Let's go and grab everything. Certainly need it. Also, I need to fix those doors, thinking about it. Sandstone. There we go. Cow 2 has got food poisoning from berries. Well, damn it, Cow 2. That's what you get for eating the berries. Scallywag. Are there any fallen ship parts? I mean, ultimately, destroying this thing is going to give us the materials because we'll be able to break down a bunch of the uh, mechanoids. But I think we may have actually gone through all of our components here. Yeah. That is quite distressing. Quite distressing. Crafting materials. Where would components be in this? They must not have brought it in. Well, we need more. Are there any more components anywhere on this map? I don't think there are, so we may just have to deal with that. Every colonist in the male gender wins is. Well, that's not good. It's particularly bad, in fact. I'm thinking that we're not going to be that lucky and there isn't going to be any more components around the map. Right, major break risk. Dewdrop is on the verge. Uh, right, let's have a look. Broke up with Tal, smoke leaf withdrawal, disturbed sleep, shared bedroom, slept on ground. Well, hopefully you'll just go and like, deal with things. Actually, I can Dewdrop, go and snow, <laughs> snow some Yayo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dewdrop. Uh, I'm a horrible, horrible person. Right, let's have a look at you. Pretty good! Tons of joy! Hi, Nyayo! Yeah! No bad things in my life! No, no, no! Good. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, but uh, for now, for now it's good. We've got a scyther blade there. Oh. Have we got this going? Lisa is working on this one. Where is Lisa currently? Lisa, 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 could you continue work? Oh no, Carly's going to work on something. Alrighty. Carly was going to work on something. Not anymore, though. Uh, well, if we can get at least one of those built, that's all we really need. So I'm going to reduce this down to one. Okay, everything's going a little bit awry at the moment. Well, we... Carly's bringing in some more of the components, which is thankful. Major break risk, lead. Yeah, that's, it's going to happen, unfortunately, because you're just in a foul mood. So, uh, yeah, do the same thing. Um, it's, it's, it, don't do drugs, kids. Except in dire situations when you happen to be on some backwater planet in space where you're, you've been adopted by a tribe of sky people. I think that, that situation is specific enough that I basically said never do drugs. I think. My conscience is clean. Right. 
let's check on Lid. Are you good? You've not got any particular um, dependency yet. Minor break risks. Okay, you'll you'll get there. You'll get you'll get there. It's okay. Right. This is they're not sowing here. I'm going to be planting smoke leaf there because I need something that'll be able to bring people's moods back up. Oh my lord, things are not going so amazingly well. What I might do is actually have my main fighters in here, then snipe the ship until it triggers the fight. I think that would probably be the best thing I could do in this situation, honestly. We'll have to see. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll be joining me for the next, where we have almost finished our geotherm, so we'll probably finish that in the next episode, and we are going to be taking on the poison ship before it ruins all of our crops. But that's where we're going to be leaving it. So like if you liked, sub if you haven't, but until next time, do take care, everyone.